So why is there so much hue and cry in the other countries? It's a fascinating biotechnology argument to suggest that because the United States is, the United States is using it and their consumers are using it, that it must be safe for the rest of the world. I mean, it took the United States about 500 years to realize that tobacco was dangerous. To suggest again that the United States is a country where we can, we can trust their judgment to be a, a, a beacon or a guardian for the rest of us around the world is, is really a dangerous assumption. GM foods were introduced in 1996. Between 94 and 2001, there was a doubling of food-related illnesses. Five years after GM soy was introduced, peanut allergies doubled, which might be related to the introduction of GM soy. So no one can say that everyone in America is healthy, and no one can say that GMOs are not part of the problem. The average American, if you ask them, have you ever eaten a GM food in your life? 60% say no. 15% say I don't know. So three quarters of America do not realize that they eat GM ingredients in almost every meal. As food prices worsen, farmers push GM seeds. Switzerland extends moratorium on GM crops till 2013. French Parliament rejects bill to allow GM crops. Italy, Greece, Austria, Poland ban GM crops. Western Australia extends moratorium on GM crops. Scientists warn against GM foods. Genetically engineered foods pose health risks for children. Prince Charles says GMO crop will be a disaster. India is not a guinea pig for P.C. Brindley. All the kinds of disasters that you talk about, rather from, from right from Hiroshima to Chernobyl to 9-11 to 26-11, to whatever you call it, will pale in front of the disaster that is awaiting us in case of food. There's only one definite outcome of genetic engineering of food, the end of choice. The question is, as a consumer, what should you do? First of all is educate people about the harmful effects of genetically modified food. Second uh, is gather momentum for this uh, movement and educate also the bureaucrats. Expose all those people who are trying to make money out of uh, producing poison in the name of food. Third is uh, Satyagraha. What we should do is, and what the, the, uh, the public should ask for, the consumer should ask for, is a moratorium on release of any GM crop, sale of any GM seed for a period of five to seven years during which an appropriate risk assessment system should be set up. It is now your time to stand up and be counted. Let me tell you, if you as a consumer stand up and exercise your voice that this is not the kind of food that you want, I can tell you all these companies will go away. As dusk falls and traffic starts thinning on the road, it's time for Sunita to go home and look forward to a well-deserved meal with her family. She may be unmindful about the safety of the food that she and her family eat, but how can we, the educated lot, leave the safety of something as vital as food to be decided by those whose sole aim is to earn profit? We have to ensure that our bodies are not enslaved by these corrupt and criminal multinationals. And we will have to force our government to put a complete ban on the production and distribution of GM food in India till its safety is not assured through extensive and impartial trials. After all, what is at stake here is our own health and our very survival.